there was an unlit torch by the base of the steps. Hey, senorita! Too late. I had been seen. Bonjour, Capitaine. <laughs> Only Sergeant, pretty one. What are you doing here? Uh... Auntie? I mean, La Presidenta. La Presidenta is your aunt? Mais oui! Anyway, Auntie said I could watch what Cousin Raoul was doing. But you're not Quaramontian. No, I was raised in France. It's a long story. May I go up the pyramid? Ah, uh, we have strict instructions not to let anybody pass. Oh, but I've told you who I am. Surely nobody would mind. Well... Oh, please. I'd be ever so grateful. I tell you what. I'll ask Pablo if it's okay for you to go up. If Pablo saw me, I'd be dead. Uh, no. It's not worth the bother. I'm not really that interested in their stupid pyramid anyway. Well, okay. It's men's work up there anyway. I'll just run along and play around here, okay? Okay, you do that. Poco, do you still have that lighter gun you pulled on me so amusingly? What's going on over there? Do you need help, my pretty? Nothing's wrong. I dropped... Uh, a cigarette, but everything is under control. I'll have the fire out in a minute or two. The fuel was burning violently. No way was I going to touch the fire. Self-immolation isn't my style. What's that? What's happening? Trouble. Give it up. The pyramid's surrounded. I'll find out what the trouble is. Watch Stover doesn't pull any tricks. If he does, shoot him in the head, not through the heart. Why does it matter? He'll be dead either way. His heart belongs to Tezcatlipoca. That's not true. We just had dinner a couple of times. The crates and drums were sealed, and I had no way of getting into them. Drop the gun or I shoot! Please, don't hurt me! Don't worry yourself, my finger isn't loaded. Nico, what are you doing here? Firstly, I'm going to set George free, and then screw up Karzak's scheme. No, I can't let you do that. Karzak has promised me power. Raoul, wake up. The only thing Karzak has on offer is death. You may want to ask Oubie, except you can't. Karzak murdered him. You're lying. Oubie is in Europe. Sure he's in Europe. In London, on a mortuary slab with two bullet holes in him. But Karzak promised. 
When he frees Tezcatlipoca, we'll all be granted great power. Listen to her, Raoul. Karzak's insane. I, I, I don't know. I, I need to think. You've let your mother do your thinking for you up to now. You need to think for yourself. Your mother and Karzak think alike. There's only one expendable member of the plan left, and that's you. Mother would never betray me. Oh, I'm tired of trying to reason with you, Raoul. Titipoco. Watch this man, and if he makes a move, shoot him with your gun. Hold still, George. I don't want to sacrifice you by accident. You have no idea how glad I am to see you. They were going to cut your heart out. I think I can guess. We can save the happy reunions for later. We've got to move. Come on! We're safe. This is a dead end. We're toast. I know, Tilipoko. I'm not too happy here either. He knows this is Tezcatlipoca's pyramid. The house of the enemy. Well, we can't stay here like rats in a trap. And we can't go out the way we came in. It would be suicide. I'll have a look round. Maybe there's another way out. In the meantime... Take this. It's the Coyote Stone. It might bring you luck, I hope. You managed to recover the stones from the village? Then we might have a chance after all. Incidentally, what would Titipoco have done if Graciento had moved? Titipoco? Nothing. He's given up violence. It was Titipoco. It was Georges. Just rescued from certain death and not looking suitably grateful. On the wall was an intricate pattern in blue and gold. By the door was a pattern picked out in blue. The pattern seemed to have only religious significance. The pattern meant nothing to me. This was a time for action, not talk. Georges? Yeah? There was nothing I wanted to talk to Georges about just then. The lever was made of stone. There was a large image on the wall of a man in ceremonial garb. More usefully, there were also a couple of levers. Oof! The lever was very difficult to move and appeared to do nothing anyway. Still, no good. Georges? Yeah? Georges, I can only pull one lever at a time and I think we need to pull both together. Okay, I'm up for that. This sacrifice! Where is it? Nico was here with Titipoco. They set him free. I couldn't stop them. You idiot! I should have strangled you at birth. Titipoco's gone soft. He wouldn't have hurt you. I know that. The darkness of this honey is almost upon us and we have no sacrifice to appease Tezcatlipoca. 
Have you any idea what your incompetence will cost us? I think so. And I'm glad. What? The Mayans weren't fools. Tezcatlipoca should stay exactly where they put him. Finally got some backbone from somewhere, huh? Shame it's so late in the day. I'd rather die than see you and Karzak with the devil's power. Fine, we're still a sacrifice short. See, the eclipse begins. Pablo, kill him! This Catlipoca can feed upon his yellow heart. Nico was right all along, but it's still not too late. Come on then, Pablo. Let's see who sacrifices who. What place is this? I was in some sort of strange room. Tiles and dials. The priests who designed this place must have known how to use them. I was going to have to figure it out for myself if I ever wanted to get out of here. It was the great stone head that had spat me out. It reminded me of an ex-boyfriend. On both counts. The shoot I'd arrived on was too steep and slippery to get back up. The room was dominated by an enormous device, decorated with the usual Mayan motifs. It held two great discs, each covered in glyphs. It was the great disc machine. There were several tiles with glyphs on them. There was a statue of a monkey. Some sort of religious significance? The monkey held a board containing more tiles with colored glyphs on them. The dial didn't want to move. 